All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shop of Leclerc. So you are being tasked with this project to build a bridge made only of spaghetti and hot glue. Well, let's make it a little harder. You have to suspend that bridge over a 50 centimeter chasm and you have to hold a one kilogram weight for 60 seconds. But one more thing, the winner is the team that builds the bridge that is the lightest that holds it. So you have to use your brain and engineering skills. Well, let's go over this project in more detail. And let's... Now let's go over the rules, okay? The rules through this bridge is incredibly simple, and which is really nice. Number one, your bridge must only contain spaghetti and hot glue, nothing else. Rule two, your bridge must be a minimum of 500 millimeters or 50 centimeters long, 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters tall, 50 millimeters or five centimeters wide. You also must have a place where we can hang the official Skills BC Spaghetti Bridge hanging device, okay? It's just a five centimeter by five centimeter 3D printed square with their logo on it. And I've um, put a hook on just easier. We can take the carabiner off or hook, but you can just see piece of rope drops through there. So you must have a place on your bridge that this can sit and the rope can hang at the midpoint of your bridge. Now, I'm not gonna pull a ruler out and make sure it's the exact midpoint. It has to be what I would say like eyeball midpoint in the middle, reasonably in the middle, okay? The next thing is, well, we, we have to hang the weight off. You have to hang this weight for your weight to count for 60 seconds. Okay, now what that means is, you know, you can build a bridge for 20 grams, which would break probably every record. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. But until the timer hits 60 seconds, it doesn't count. Okay, let's move on to some other. So at this stage in front of me is the supplies outside your tools, you know, your hot glue, your scissors, X-Acto knives, paper, that kind of stuff that I'm gonna be providing for this project. Okay, and I'm gonna go from super important to maybe less important, but still vital. Our first thing we're gonna look at is the official spaghetti loading mass device. Now, keep in mind, as said earlier in the video, in the rules, this has to be on the bridge. This will be out during the entire building phase of the competition. Next, we have our two sizes of weights. You've got your one kilogram weight and your 500 gram weight. The one kilogram weight, once we start building, will be put in away as you are not allowed to test during the build phase with this weight. 500 on the other time will be left out on this table at all times so that you can test and make sure your bridge is working well. Next, we have our scale. Now, if you wanted to, you could weigh your materials throughout the process and get a feel of how far and how big and heavy your bridge is. So maybe you can scale back or maybe you built it really light and you can beef it up. That's up to you. I, you know, I've given some during class, the current school record and different measurements that are seem to be like really in the ballpark. So you'll know where you are in there. Okay, next. Standard hot glue sticks you can buy at any craft store, dollar store, or Amazon. Super simple, I don't think anybody needs an explanation on these. And just like that, your standard Cataline spaghetti. Ours was bought from Costco because Costco is cheap, but you can also buy this, like you can get it at the your local grocery store too. Works from there. All right, let's actually get to the building part. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do here is make sure that you can actually use the paper. Okay, so what you're gonna need is two sheets of paper, your masking tape, ruler, and you know, writing utensil, preferably pencil. In this case, we've got it there. Okay, so these pieces of paper are 35.5 centimeters, and so I wanna have a bridge that is 52 centimeters at the very end. And the easiest way I know how to do that is to tape the paper together. So, very simple process. I already know it's 35.5. I'm just gonna mark on this one, 16. 0.5 and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to mask and tape these together. And the reason I'm doing that is very simple. It just makes my life easier because we're not going to be using the paper that much. It doesn't need to be perfect. But the big thing is I'm leaving the paper as my final spaghetti bridge length or width or length in this case 
And that way, I can never make a mistake on that. And there you go. So you've got your long piece of paper with this. The next stage of this is we need to draw the bridge. Easy way to do this is we've got the piece of paper and to find the midpoint on the bridge because one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is try and have every piece of the bridge as symmetrical as is possible. Okay, by folding the paper in half, we now know how high our paper is. But we know our midpoint without measuring and being two. It's just quick and dirty. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fold this corner to corner to corner here. And that gives me the line there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do the exact same because it's another easy way just to find out what your mid, your lines are because we can get a larger ruler, but our 30 centimeter rulers will not work with that. But we now have, as you can kind of see the paper folding, an easy way to tell where like our big midpoints are. Okay, the next stage, very simple. Let's draw some lines. Okay, I'm gonna use, use pencil normally. I'm gonna use red just to make it a little more visible on the camera because if I use pencil, it's hard to see some days. And so I'm just gonna do the design here. Okay, and as you can see, I'm just making everything as symmetrical as I can. And keep in mind, the paper trick does not work perfectly, but it works overall really well. Okay, and then we'd add more lines there. I'm gonna finish up drawing this, and then we're gonna go on to the next piece. for the last and final steps we just have to get the bridge off the paper as you can see here okay so make sure you're careful with these knives this is an easy way to cut yourself make sure anytime you're using it you lock it or unlock it based on that okay so we're going to carefully cut the paper off with the exacto knife always facing away from us so even if it slips nothing can happen and we're going to go and try and cut every single joint off. If you're the is sticking too hard to the paper, just cut the paper. Don't worry about the spaghetti as much. Just be incredibly careful. Now, in this case, I only did a bridge that's like one spaghetti layer thick. So you might have a different mileage depending on how thick your design is and how well it works. But other than that, it's honestly just a matter of cutting it and pulling it off incredibly carefully and patience count. All right, so we're gonna move on from there and that's about it. All right, well, if you thought the tutorial was gonna be longer, nope, that's it. Because this is your design, not mine. And that's a very important part with this. So as you just saw, we carefully removed the one finished side from the paper with an exacto knife carefully. And then you would use the same piece of paper and blueprint and create a second side. And then all you have to do is connect the cross members. Keep in mind, you have to have a platform to hang the weight off of using all the information provided before. All right, well, what's next? Well, and there you have the Spaghetti Bridge Project. Well, well good luck.